eight. Hello, good evening to you. And part of the story here is the Albait Stadium by night. 60,000 capacity here. I'm Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board alongside me is Stuart Robson, my commentary partner. And it is a first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Wales, and they take on Australia. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. A look at the starters for Wales. Well, it'll be interesting to see how the wingers play today. Will they stay high and wide? Will they come in field and support the centre forward? And how deep will they come out of possession? They're going to be key to this formation. Now far from a smooth challenge. Now will the referee produce a card? And the yellow card for that, Stuart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge. Duke. And that's gone out of play for what will be a goal kick. Well, Gareth Bale, with his pace and poise, can often make a difference in a football match. Stuart, what do you expect to see from him? Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas, in and around the box. His creativity is excellent. Playing little one-twos, balls round the corner, linking up with other teammates, just to have that little bit of penetration. He's going to be key to breaking down this defence. It's been such a long wait for Welsh fans. 1958, the last time they were involved in the World Cup. Here they are again from the days of John Charles and Cliff Jones to this modern generation, buoyed by Gareth Bale. Well, they did well at the European Championships. They did well to beat Ukraine to qualify for this World Cup. But this is a massive game against the United States today. If they can win this, they've got every chance of going through to the knockout stages. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Kiefer Moore. Bale. Dan James. Firing it towards goal. Oh, he saved it well. Short corner taken. And Padu. Wonderful chance. And there it is. The breakthrough. That will do nicely. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. again with the score line standing at 1-0 and on the back of that particular challenge will the referee let the matter rest there and following the infringement a caution yeah no surprise there that was always going to be a booking
it comes to nothing in the end. Harry Souza. And he stopped them in their tracks. Can they hit on the break? Kiefer Moore. Bale. Dan James. Now Ramsey. Not high quality defending. Kiefer Moore. Now, who can he play it to? Dan James. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Matthew Lecky. A brilliant work to keep that one in play. A chance to whip it in. Aaron Moy. Jackson Irvin. It's a good looking ball in behind. Well cleared away. James. Oh, he's given the ball away. Aaron Moy. Duke. Not a successful intervention, winning the ball back. Kiefer Moore. Now with Bale. On attacking possibilities. Chance to play it in. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Lecky. Good use of advantage by the referee. Just cutting off the supply. Moving forward effectively. And out for an Australia throw in. Plenty of support here, but nothing comes of it. And he takes it on! Well, the keeper did his job. Didn't really have to work hard, in all honesty. So, the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. Well, we tend to talk in glowing terms about Gareth Bale, Stuart, but perhaps he ought to be doing a bit better. Well, it certainly wasn't his best half of football. He was slightly off the pace, and he gave the ball away. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Well, shielding the ball admirably. And strong play here. Crossing possibilities. And it will be a throw in for Australia. Textbook defending inside the box. Bale. And now passing it through. Oh, but cutting it out in the nick of time. Duke. Could be a chance to break here. No possibilities in the centre. Oh, good work by the keeper. And it is substitution time at this juncture. Not just from one side, but from both. Short corner favourite. 
Moy. And Moy with it. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Long way out, this. No way through. Teammates available. Under pressure. Doesn't seem to be bothering him. And is it going to be Gareth Bale? And a goal! There he is at the double. They just can't subdue him. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Aaron Moy. It's Jamie McLaren. Now, what can they do from here? Opportunity to deliver the cross. They do pass the ball with authority. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. And the counter looks on here, options available. Can he make it count? Well, it's ended up being, quite frankly, easy for the keeper. Well, he should be hitting the back of the net. That's a poor effort. Wales doing well to regain possession. Moving it forward. Might be able to set up the chance. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. Dan James. Not showing good defensive judgment. Jackson Irvin. Matthew Leckie. And Irvin on the ball. And threading it forward. Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area. And then just look at this finish, Derek. He does so well to read the bounce. Often you can send these into row Z, but he makes the perfect contact. Stunning goal, really. So back underway, intriguing contest this, given the 2-1 scoreline. Gareth Bale. Joe Morrell. Kiefer Moore. And that's an important intervention. Prustic are getting it forward, but they need an equaliser. It could be the well, last gasp defending, but brilliant defending. Moore. And the counter attack is on. Options available. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Lecky. And Irvin on the ball. Aaron Moy. Mabil has it. McLaren. Moy. And with that, the attack fizzles out.
Bale. Bale's through ball. Well, the attack carried promise, but petered out. And we will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here. They're showing a willingness to attack, as they must, given the circumstances. Time running out. A fine reading of the situation. There it is, the final whistle. Disappointment in the camp because it goes into the books as a defeat, Stuart. Well, Derek, it was a poor result, but it was a really tight contest. Both sides had their chances, could have gone either way, but in the end, they will be disappointed. And I think it's fair to say Gareth Bale brings so many positive qualities to the pitch, doesn't he, Stuart? Well, he didn't score, but he almost did everything else. He was all over the pitch and he got a good assist. For me, he was probably the most effective player on the pitch.